Hello everyone, it is the night before I'm flying out to Scotland and it is manic. My suitcases are still empty and I leave tomorrow. So I'm a bit of a hot mess, everything's a hot mess. I've got some tech stuff, am I pointing? Over there. <laughs> I've got some tech stuff there that I need to pack up because obviously I will be working during this trip. Got some clothing here. This stuff still needs to go in my suitcase but right now what I'm doing is I'm actually kind of trying to nail down my makeup i'm just kind of figuring out what products to bring so what i'm doing and how i like to travel with liquids because obviously i don't want to get anything taken away is i like to get these clear plastic baggies from just like the dollar store and i find that the more clear a bag is the less likely tsa is going to you know be questioning my stuff because I think what they don't like is when they can't see all of your liquids so in bags like this what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna try and fit as much of my everyday makeup and skincare in here as I can and anything else I'm gonna check it in and if it gets lost I'll be fine without it so that's my mentality right now it's kind of I need to put everything in here that I'm gonna survive with for the next however long so first thing that is a million percent coming with me um, uh, this is like where the tough part is I don't know what Stuff to bring I think I'm definitely gonna bring the Chanel Lays beige I really wish that the water fresh skin tint was in a smaller tube like this so I'm gonna bring this one just because it's smaller in case I want to wear foundation although I, don't, I think I'll be fine and then I'm going to bring this one might be too big but this is a nude sticks nude screen daily mineral veil this one's SPF 30 so it's actually an SPF but it's really really nice it's got a really like beautiful tint to it. I'll show you. See there. Like look at how pretty that is. It hardly feels like a sunscreen. So this is gonna be a good like skin tint sunscreen, but I am going to bring another sunscreen. Size wise, I'm just gonna bring my Caudalie just cause again, it's nice and compact. And I love my Caudalie one. So I'm gonna start packing. The other thing that's gonna go in here is my Chanel concealer. I cannot live without this thing. It's just amazing. I just need to check how much all of this stuff is, but it should be okay. All right, so I'm gonna start putting this stuff in here. Now, what I'm gonna do is, since I don't leave till tomorrow, I'm gonna pack my little baggie and I'm going to do my makeup tomorrow with everything in this baggie. So that's gonna be a good telltale if I'm missing something, then I'm gonna say, oh, it's not in there. Mascara, I think I was in between two. I was in between my Ilia or my Dior. I think, I love both. You know, I might have a mini me of this one. Okay, so I do have a mini of my Ilia. Oh, the door is open. I do have a mini of the Ilia mascara so I'm gonna bring this one but I'm also gonna bring my Dior show uh, mascara in case it rains this one does uh, wash off with water really easily so I'm afraid that that's gonna run I'm going to bring of course my rare beauty concealer my boy brow needs to be in there my say this is the glowy super gel this is the one in star glow and else do I need? I'm going to bring my Carolina Herrera um, lippy. I'm also going to put, which I need to find. I'm not sure where it's gone off to. Ah, it's not standing. There we go. Sort of. All right. I don't want to bring too many lip glosses, but I'm in between this one. I still haven't gotten my hands on my Ilia lip wrap, and it breaks my heart. My deodorant come with me what else okay i'm going to start setting aside skincare before i sorry my brain is like all over the place right now and it's i'm stressing myself out okay skincare skincare i've got sunscreen in there that's like priority number one And then some Caudalie Essentials. I'm going to bring this mini Vino Perfect Serum. How cute is that? My uh, Beauty Elixir cannot travel without this. Even on the plane, it just a little refresh is amazing. And then I'm gonna bring this Vino Perfect Glycolic Toner. It's just small, so it fits kind of perfectly. All right, that's what it's looking like 
so far and I think I'm not going to put too much more in there. I do have to bring my two Jo Malone fragrances because I'm actually working with them on a partnership which should be out either when you guys are seeing this video or very very soon afterwards. These are two of the fragrances from the Highlands collection which feels so special. So this is the Melancholy Thistle and Wild Achillea. So these are my two favorite from the range. There are two other ones which are gorgeous but these ones are really really beautiful and they're my favorite this one is so fresh like they're both so fresh and like oh I love them so much I don't even think I can pick a favorite but I also just love the designs on the bottles they're so beautiful I will link them down in the description box below they're available at various retailers but I will link the ones that I personally like down below for you guys I might also bring my Dior lip gloss so that is all my stuff for carry-on i got my little baggie and then some other little things in here in here is my makeup bag and here i am putting all of my pretty much all my powders like anything that's not a liquid or a cream because cream still counts as a liquid so all my powders are in here my sponge my brushes all my brushes are in here i'm gonna take one of these out i'm really chunky actually no, I'm gonna keep that one in there. Um, my eyeliner is also gonna have to go in here, unfortunately. Actually, I don't think it does, but better safe than sorry, I guess. I don't know. I don't wanna get in trouble. For setting powder, I, I wish I could bring my Chanel, but it's gonna be really annoying to travel with. So I think I'm just gonna take my Laura Mercier, which I thought I just had it. Here it is. I'm gonna take my little Laura Mercier, because it's small and compact and it does the trick really, really well. What else do I have in here? Now my period is on its way. So I'm gonna take this Dermalogica Breakout Clearing Booster just in case my face decides to start freaking out on the trip. So that's that. Okay, I think we're, we're doing well, we're doing good. So now that I've got my powders, my carry-on stuff, I'm gonna start putting aside some liquids that are gonna be checked in so setting spray dior i have refallen back in love with this one it is chest kiss i am bringing my dark lady killian fragrance when it comes to fragrances so many people are like oh like i have a signature fragrance and that is the only fragrance i wear that's awesome but for me fragrances are i mean so tied to memories and moments. Smell is one of our senses that is most strongly tied to memories. Um, our sense of smell and memories go hand in hand. And so I love having fragrances for special moments. And for example, I wore my Celine Parade fragrance the entire time I was in London. So every time I get a whiff of this fragrance and I close my eyes, I'm walking down the streets of London and it is the most like special feeling ever it's so cool it's just like it's just like flashbacks of memories it's so cool honestly i highly suggest you doing it if you have like a really special like you know wedding or a birthday or a really special moment in your life or a trip a honeymoon whatever it may be get yourself a fragrance for that moment and wear it the whole time um and try and you know tie that memory and smell together and i think it's so special so i think the fragrance for my trip is going to be Dark Lady by Killian um, because it is just beautiful. And what I did was, let me go get it, but I actually got a little sample from Whole Run Fruit. So I'm gonna check this bottle in and then I'm gonna put the little sample in here in case this gets lost. I will at least still have a fragrance to wear. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna try and find a couple more. I think I have my replica when the rain stops travel bottle, I guess. And I'm gonna put that in here as well. Let me go get it. So this is the tiny little bottle that they gave me and it's just got this fragrance in it. So I'm gonna put that in there. I'm bringing my La Mer lip balm because you guys know it's my lifesaver. And then I just got sent this from Dior. This is the balm and it's for hands, lips, and body. And it is a really, really fascinating consistency. Sorry, it's a little awkward to put on. Um, and it's fragrance it's fragrance free, like it almost smells like Eucerin or CeraVe, which for my eczema, I always have eczema on my hands. It is a lifesaver and you can also use this on your lips, which I think is brilliant. 
So I am going to bring this hand lotion with me on the plane. I'm gonna have to narrow this down even more and it's stressing me out. I'm checking in my big mascara. Sorry, I'm just trying to go through all of this in my head here, making sure I have all my essentials. Concealer is the most important thing. Concealer and sunscreen. Everything else I can live without. So I'm gonna put this in here as well. That's fine. I'm gonna put some of my skincare in Jack's baggie as well because I think we're gonna share skincare. And that's what we did when we went to not London, but we went to New York. We pretty much split. I had one baggie for makeup, and then all of our skincare was in his carry-on liquids baggie. So I think that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna have to figure out what our skin needs are for the next little bit and kind of tag team on that. Okay, I'm gonna focus and do this so I can get done. That way I can move on to my packing because that still needs to happen. I'm looking a bit disheveled. It is very, very late and packing is somewhat done. We're still waiting for my mom to bring up a couple luggages tomorrow morning. Thankfully, we don't fly out till the evening, but so far, this is the situation. This is gonna be my carry-on. So I've got all of my like essential outfits. Um, I've got some extra sweaters there that still need to be packed up. Some bras and socks over there. That's all Jack stuff. Again, we're waiting for luggage, so He'll put all his stuff away. I don't think I'm going to take this big one, so I'm waiting for my mom to bring her carry-on, and I think I'm going to check in that one. These things here still need to find a home in a luggage. Um, this is my Alame dress. I've got my Holland Cooper blazer, which I just I can't travel to the UK without it. Um, Smythe blazer, Veronica beard. You guys have seen these already. And then this is what I'm wearing to the airport. So I'm gonna wear this Burberry jacket. I've got my Babaton Conan pants, a little tank from Banana Republic. And then this is just a black shirt, also from Aritzia. And then over here, we have kind of like our personal items. So that is all jacks, that is my laptop. This is all my stuff here. So I've got my big camera. I'm obviously using my vlogging camera. I've got some tripods. This is a super cute little bag. I actually got it from my dad. He has the exact same bag and he recommended it to me. I'll actually open it up so you guys can see it. So this is the inside and I think it's so perfect for traveling. So I've got some battery ports here, some charging cables, adapters, all my camera batteries. I've got some converters and stuff here. Um, this is my external hard drive and it just it's so compact you can zip it up which is perfect for traveling So I know especially with tech things get so messy some extra Jo Malone fragrances These are actually gonna get checked in a little peineta hair clip um, This stuff isn't going my phone which oh my god needs a clean how gross and sunglasses and watch and my jewelry I love traveling with this little Dior case. I keep all my little jewelry in there and it's nice and compact and then of course as I mentioned in a recent video I am definitely taking my Dior book tote which I've actually put in my Strathberry bag actually there's two Strathberry bags in here I've got the big one and the little one is inside my brown one you guys will know that one and then I'm just gonna put pretty much most of this stuff in here so yeah and then I think Jack is taking his backpack and he's got his stuff over there we also finalized our skincare we sat down and figured out what we needed and what we didn't so we ended up deciding on a little mini Caudalie Premier Crew we have the Clinique one which I already told you that one is actually the Innisfree moisturizer we've got a little Caudalie you know perfect Toner, Drunk Elephant, F-Bomb, Electrolyte Water Facial. We both love that. We've got the Caudalie Vino you know, Perfect Serum, of course. This Paula's Choice, this is the Paula's Choice Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid. So this is their SPF 50, so that's their sunscreen. We compromised on the sunscreen <laughs> because Jack doesn't like the Caudalie one. Um, and this one was perfect. Like, it was just going to be good for the both of us. What else do we have in here? A little Ilia Eye Cream. And, of course, the one thing... I love traveling with is the special cleansing gel from Dermalogica. I love that they have these little travel sizes. So that's going to be for non-checked. Checked in stuff. I've got this bag here. I've got just some more like sunscreens, some more moisturizers and stuff. So again, if this doesn't arrive, that's okay. We can pretty much just survive with this. I am bringing this. I know it's a huge tub, but <laughs> my skin needs hydration, of course. So I'm bringing my Caudalie. Um, this one is the Replenishing Vegan Body Butter. I've made a good 
good dent in there. It's so, so good. And yeah, and then I've got my makeup ready to go. We're all set to go tomorrow. And yeah, the only other thing I really need to pack is going to be my Dyson Corral. That one is coming with me. Um, I don't think I'm going to bring the stand just for space purposes. So I think I'm just going to bring the flat iron and the cord. And I do have a converter or adapter to bring with me. And then, of course, I have this baggie here with all my um, like dried stuff. So what I like to do is I travel, I bring this, I bring this, and then I just put it in here, lay it down sideways, whatever, and put it in a bag. So it's super, super easy. And I never put it in my suitcase because then I get flagged and I have to open it up the suitcase. So I always keep this on hand, ready to just lay flat on the conveyor belt or whatever. So yeah, that is, that is where we're at. So I'm really, really tired. It is like definitely beyond midnight at this point so i'm gonna go wash my face i feel like my makeup i don't even have makeup on my face anymore i've probably been touching my skin so much it's not good but i'm gonna go give my skin a good scrub and get a good night's sleep so i will see you guys in the morning I just woke up from a nap but we have arrived at St. Andrews in Scotland and like I don't know if you can see how cool it is. I'm just trying to find parking because we're given instructions by the Airbnb host but we're not quite sure where anything is. have officially arrived in Scotland. I'm so, so excited. Here's a little sneak peek of our um, Airbnb, but I'll be sure to insert right after this clip a mini tour of our place. It is quite big. It's got three floors, a lot of stairs. I said to Jack, I was like, I'd be super fit if I lived in this house because there are so, so many stairs. But we essentially got here. We had quite a long drive here. Obviously, they drive on the other side of the road here. But we got here. I took a nice shower to freshen up, freshened up my makeup, feeling so, so good. But now Jack and I are going to go explore. And I think, I don't know if you can see, but I want to go see those um, monuments over there. And I think Jack is waiting for me downstairs. We've got the camera to take any photos if there's any nice spots. And yeah, we're just going to go explore his dad and uncle. Um, went out for a little walk as well, so yeah, very excited. Okay, let's go. decided to go on a little walk to explore the town. Jack is just behind me there, looking handsome as ever. <laughs> but we can either walk through some ruins. What, did, what was it that you called that? Not ruins, that's the wrong word. It's a like fallen apart cathedral. And, or we can walk through the town or we can walk through the ocean. 
ocean. Goodbye. I mean, not through the ocean, by the ocean. <laughs> Right, we are walking through a kind of cemetery and cathedral area. You can see all these ruins. Something I learned in history class is that oftentimes these ruins, um, yes, it could be because of old age, but it could also be because when um, England and the UK were going through religion changes, so they would tear these buildings down to get materials, but whatever they didn't need, they would just leave remaining like this, kind of half torn down, half built. Um, so that's a little fun fact for you. It's a new day here and today um, is Jack's first day in the tournament but it is bright and early and we're gonna go walk to a little bakery that was on the street. It is called Taste um, and we're gonna get some pan au chocolates and some London Fogs. He doesn't typically like to drink coffee when he plays golf um, or like before he plays golf so we are not doing coffee today. We are doing London Fogs together um, and then I think we're gonna stop at Tesco and just pick up some like breakfast foods to bring back home but it's going to be really really rainy today so I essentially opted for a slicked back bun look. I was using some of Jack hair paste like for styling his hair. I didn't bring any for my hair and I should have because I should have known that the weather here was gonna wreak havoc on my curly frizzy hair but um, what can you do? So anyways I brought out the big guns. I brought my raincoat. This is actually from a really cool brand called Rains. It's a Canadian brand. Pretty much all they do is raincoats. I think they do do some like puffer coats and stuff like that but their raincoats are really cool really minimalistic like just you know a plain old raincoat which i love yeah sounds good pardon okay yeah shocking how cheap the prices are here in Scotland compared to Canada. It is like two pounds for a pack of deli meat. In Canada that would be like ten dollars, thirteen, fifteen even. It's just shocking. Good morning everyone. I am getting ready super super quickly because I have to leave for the golf course in about half an hour or so. Well 40 minutes technically but I want to be able to go downstairs and have a quick bite to eat before I do so. Now I didn't vlog yesterday because it was the most like rainy day ever and it literally rained all day like by the end of the day we were all joking that like there was no rain left in the clouds because it rained so much. <laughs> but um, oh one sec I need my eye cream. But today we are at the old course, which I've learned so much in the last couple days. The old course is the first golf course in the world and it was actually where golf was invented. And fun fact, prior to, I forget the year, I think it's like 1764, the game of golf actually used to be 22 holes and then it, they shortened it to 18 and that became the standard, which I think is so, so cool. We were stuck in the rain, I literally was drenched and the slicked hair back style is just the way to go moving forward like I'm not even bothering with anything else to be honest because I just don't have the time and effort and I feel like if you curl your hair it just ends up looking worse so I just figured also I forgot to put an earring on oh my god that's how frantic I am this morning I just figured may as well just go with a slicked back bun which is pretty much indestructible at this point okay I'm gonna put my other earring on so I look like a normal person and I'm also keeping my makeup super super simple in case of rainfall which it's not calling for rain today thankfully but it is supposed to be on the cooler side I think this morning's supposed to be like 16 or 17 degrees which is not overly cold but when you're in the middle of a golf course that wind 
really gets you. I'm also just adding leftover product into my hair, because why not? My makeup today is going to be a pump of my Say Glowy Super Gel and like a quarter of a squeeze of this Jones Road tint, like just like that, a tiny, tiny amount, just to bring some color into my face. And some glow. <laughs> I'm just gonna get my beauty blender wet with my Dior spray. Perfect. And then for my concealer, I'm actually gonna mix the two of them because this one's a bit too dark for me right now and this one's a bit too light. So we're mixing. We are getting creative here. I'm just using the tiniest, tiniest amount. This trip for me has been like, less is more on like everything. Hair is minimal, makeup is beyond minimal, and I'm kind of loving it. I was actually posting yesterday on my Instagram how calm everything is here and how it's made me realize how fast paced we live in North America. And I mean, Canada, I don't think is as bad as the US, um, but even then, Everything here is so calm and peaceful. It truly is beautiful. <laughs> and then I'm just using my Nude Sticks Cream Bronzer just to bring some color into the face. Again, only using a tiny amount. There's some like yelling going on outside, I can't see. All right, looking pretty good. <laughs> Using my little by Terry, um, what's it called? This is the Hyaluronic Pressed Hydra Powder. Again, using a tiny bit just to set my under eyes. And a fun little fact I learned at my Laura Mercier dinner, which I don't even know if I've told you about, I feel like the last week has been chaos for me, but if you struggle with creasing um, concealer, set your under eyes right away. Put your concealer on, don't even do the other eye. Put your concealer on, set your under eyes. Um, because it's a type of area that is very delicate and really prone to creasing. So to prevent that, do it right away. And yeah, now I'm going in with this MAC bronzer. I've actually been loving this. This is the Radiant Medium Golden Skin Finish. So this is the Sunstruck Radiant Bronzer and I've been loving it. I love the color of it. I think it's perfect. Again, only using a tiny, tiny amount just to kind of set that cream product. I need the same one for eyeshadow. Again, just a little bit. Perfect. Little eyebrow gel. Gonna use my Dior setting spray now. This, they've changed the nozzle on it and it literally like violates your face when, it, when you spray it on, but it really does make my makeup last um, and it's really refreshing as well. It used to be like the finest mist in the world. I don't know what they've done to it. It's upsetting. Jack and I have had l like lengthy discussions on it, but what can you do? And then mascara, I'm going to use my By Terry Lash Expert Twist Brush. This mascara is actually beautiful. It looks so, so natural, but you can still get that very like fanned out look without it getting clumpy or anything like that. I also have no idea what to wear, and I will say, if you guys watched my last vlog, my Burberry jacket that I got at the consignment store has been the best purchase ever. I've been using that every single day because it has been too cold for blazers, and some days it's too warm for anything. Like, I just have to wear like a light sweater. So it has been perfection. Perfect. I think I'm gonna wear these Aritzia trousers. These are from Babaton. They're high waisted, so they'll be nice. And then I think I'm also gonna wear um, my Lily Silk cashmere sweater. Um, cashmere has been a lifesaver on this trip. It's thin and it won't make you like super hot when it's warm, but it's also keeping me super, super warm when it gets like windy and rainy and cold. So cashmere, it's everywhere here in St. Andrews and I understand why cashmere is like the fabric of choice here. <laughs> I get it, I get it. 
and for layering piece I'm gonna wear my little H&M tank top as well. My fragrance of choice I thought for this trip was gonna be Killian but I have been using my Jim Malone Wild Achillea every single day. They are just so so lovely and I've been seeing this plant Achillea all over Scotland and all over St. Andrews which is kind of super cool so anyways that's what I'm gonna put on. It smells so beautiful. Oh I love it. Putting that in my Dior making sure I have my seeing glasses, my sunglasses, and AirPods, perfect. Bring in some Midal with me, that is essential today. Phone is charging. All right, I'm all ready to go. Sorry, she's opening up a window so I can get some fresh air in this room. Uh, but I'm all ready to go. I'm gonna go make a super quick breakfast. I think I'm just gonna have like a toast with butter or something. I do have some um, dairy-free yogurt down there as well, which I think I'm gonna have banana and I'm all ready to go. Okay, let's go downstairs. <laughs> Good morning. little bao bun and I laughed because of the grocery store. It was called a chicken sandwich. <laughs> Anyways, it's my breakfast and I eat it on the go. So I think we're going to stop for pan or chocolates and maybe coffee. I'm not sure if I have time anymore, but if not, I have this and a bread bowl downstairs. So let's go. We are on route to our little coffee shop. We do have time. We have five minutes of spare time to get a little pan of chocolate at Paste. It's our little stop. And then we're going straight to the golf course. I am caddying all day today. So look, <laughs> at least I look good. <laughs> later on in the day but we're going putting at the Himalayan course and I got my little ball it says SG on it cute so me too well we are on our way to putting Jack's round of golf was awesome I was caddy and I, I think I did a great job as being a caddy today at least I think I was the prettiest one there <laughs> anyways uh, we're heading to a really cool little um, putting course it's called the Himalayan course and back one pardon the Himalayas, correction. But back when women weren't allowed to golf, they had this tiny little area which was like super wavy hills. It was a little putting course and that's where all the women would go and putt and golf. So we're gonna go do that and have some fun putting time. I finally, and I have my potter too. And I have all the balls in my bag. So. Expected to stop in 12 minutes. I don't trust the weather here in Scotland. Did I tell you that this morning? I think I told them that. So. You did. But I think it's supposed to sprinkle. I think we should have brought an umbrella. No, That's okay. okay. Hopefully we're fine. That's why I've been just wearing this slicked back bun. Well, ponytail. But I think I've reached my like slicked back hairstyle limit and I don't really have a choice. Are we crossing? I'm coming. Got a little match going. Loser. Buys the other drink. Actually, buys the first one. 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 We're tied. Just so everyone. Not a great performance. Yeah, Jack's a professional. <laughs>
Let me smack this one past me, baby. See, I think the lady was limiting your potential. Finish up, finish up. Okay. Finish up there, Sammy. Oh, yeah. Okay, now it's Jack's. For the two. Oh. <laughs> nice. Sam's down. <laughs> And, I lose. But, and no, she's gonna press. So press she him. she loses the hole. She's down double. So she has to just by the first two rounds. If we tie, she still owes me one round. But if she wins, she can get it all back, and then I owe, owe her a round. If we don't do this, I still lose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, We're pressing. <laughs> Jack's second shot. Oh, uh, okay. I get this in. <laughs> Wait, is that a tie then? Yeah. So we're even, or no? That means you still owe me one. Well, I sadly lost that my friends is called a lipo <laughs> it was so unfortunate i lost them <laughs> i hold the golf club <laughs> i know but when you're vlogging it is <laughs> 